Welcome back, everybody. It's Mr. Double R bringing you another episode of Fire Red. Uh, I noticed in the last episode my voice, and subsequently in one of my South Park videos, because I record them one after another, my voice was really echoey. I think I've isolated the issue, and I think I have fixed it. So, we shouldn't have that problem anymore. Anyway, in the last episode, we got our second badge, and now we're gonna make our way down to the route, whatever route number it is, I honestly do not remember. I'm gonna go up through here, and make our way down. And we can't even go through here, so... Why am I not running? I'm not gonna go down there, but um, that building right there is the daycare. Can't. Uh, I'll show it off. Might as well show it off. He's a guard on duty, but he's super thirsty. Ooh, so we can't go through. Real petty. Path. Let's run through here too. Ah. And route six. Let's see what we can find in here. You can get meowths. Ooh, can't escape. Boy. Well, let's try something out. I think I altered uh, certain encounters in this area, but I don't um, remember who. Hopefully, my audio sounds good because I uh, messed with some filters on my mic. So hopefully it all sounds good. And now I got a meow. I hate the new version of meow. Well, not so much meow, but of Persian. That chubby face, I think it's dumb. So dumb. So dumb. Let's see what else is in here. I'll look around for a few more. Did you? In, I'd imagine it's in Sun and Moon too. I only played that game for a little while. I didn't like it, but in X and Y, just catching a Pokemon would give you experience. And subsequently, since you get the full team XP share, just catching a Pokemon. I just tap my mic. All right, I'm not looking for her anymore because I gotta fight the trainers. He's a bug catcher. Whatever. Hmm. Oh boy, more Weedles. Strong Weedles, that should have been Beedrills a long time ago. However, since grass isn't too strong against him, I don't feel like getting attacked, so it's just... Get him to sleep and just attack him mercilessly. Hold on, this might make a loud noise, but I'm gonna move my mic back a little bit. Just a little bit. I did not mean to do that. So that's basically a wasted attack. That's better. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work out. That's not gonna work, so you gotta switch out. Two. Needle Kings works for me. Now he doesn't have Peck anymore, but you know. Needle King versus Weedle, I'm sure all his attacks will be just fine. In fact, let's just go with Horn Attack and watch it do do damage. Yep! It worked. 
work just fine. Uh, let me adjust my mic a little bit more. All right, it's probably good enough. A lot of these fights are probably going to be super boring. But you can't argue with the experience. Switch them out quick. War total some experience. I didn't even see who it was, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, just another Weedle. Let's test out Water Pulse. Now we'll probably have Water Pulse all the way up until we get Surf, because Water Pulse is a pretty decent move with the chance of confusing. I believe one of these two has a Water type. Who's there? Quit listening in on us. Ooh. I'm sure whatever you were talking about was so super special. Ah, it was this guy. Oh, look who it is. Not counting the opening cutscene, that's the first Pokemon we saw this whole playthrough. Oh. No. No, no, no. That did work. There we go. That bite did a lot of damage. That bite did a lot of damage. I don't remember. I said it in the last episode, but I don't know if it's true. I think Bellsprout evolves at level 25. Now, who do you have? Bulbasaur, I think. For some reason. There's another bug trainer right there. <coughs> Coughed, sorry. Oh, wow, she does not have... Well, let's try our sleep powder strat. Yeah, I didn't think so. I need to buy potions. Not bad. Not bad. I wish it was hidden power. I confused the two. I'm pretty sure hidden power is special based. Yes. I'm going to show you why I Needle King is going to be the king of the next, well, provided Pikachu does an electric move, which he didn't. That Poison Sting did a lot of damage. There's Poison Point. I'm going to make the next gem pretty easy. In fact... Hmm. Do I want to do the gym next? Just to get it over with? There's like three more trainers we gotta fight. Huh. Oh, I might even... I might have to think about that. This has sand. It is a pretty big area that needs exploring. Even though Butterfree can learn psychic moves, it's pure pure bug type. Oh, come on. It's it stole my strategy. Hmm. I've actually played all of Fire Red with a Butterfree. Oh, and I'm confused? Come on. In these older games, Butterfree is way better than Beedrill. Because it can learn some psychic moves. Come on, don't get hurt by confusion. I don't know. 
I knew that was gonna... Oh, come on. It's copying my strat. My nose is packing up. I don't even know if you can hear it. <laughs> I'm sure you heard that one. Um, nope, I have no potions, no awakenings, no full heals. I don't want to switch out and have it sleep something else. I could speed it up. I was about to speed it up too if it didn't wake up. Ironic. Let's see if Mega Punch works out. Alright, I'm gonna speed it up. Alright, we're back. I can deal with the confusion, it's the sleep. What? Yo. Killing me, Butterfree. Alright, I'm gonna speed it up again. That didn't take very long. Yeah, poison me, whatever, I don't care. Jesus. I, mean, I don't have any antidote, so it kinda sucks, but. Preferable, at least. Jesus. Actually, I will, uh... Huh. Let me just do this. Now, I'm gonna go in here, and then... I'll meet you back down there. And we're back. Alakazam to the rescue. People say teleport's useless. It kind of is. That was like one situation. These are weak. Another Pidgey. Gonna be another Pidgey? Because I don't remember. Yep. And the third Pidgey. It leveled me up, right? I think in two levels, Alkazam learns Psybeam. We'll say bye bye to Secret Power because it'll be obsolete at that point. What do you got? Spiro. Slightly stronger version of Pidgey. However, I'd rather Pidgeot over. Hero, so Stick with the bad. Eradicate, not bad. Whatever. Goodbye. Ooh, he survived. Not gonna survive a second one. Goodbye. Alright, well, I gotta quickly, uh, hop into this Pokemon Center so I can... Oh, I can't actually take on the, second, the next gym because of the, uh, 
I need the cut. Alright, so I'm going to pop into this Pokemon Center. So it'll, if I lose an SSN, it'll bring me back into here. I'll be right back. And we're back. So let's pop over here. Pop to this guy. And you get the old rod. Really, it's only worth having if you want to get a Gyarados. But you can't get Gyarados, you gotta get Magikarp. Gyarados, another plausible water type Pokemon to use if you didn't start with Squirtle. Comes in here. Ah, if you have a Spearow, this is the only way you can get Farfetch'd. The next place we want to go in is... I think it's Pokemon Fan Club is what it's called, and you want to talk to this guy, and then say yes, and then <laughs> he barely speaks English, very creepy. If you couldn't read it, rewind, pause, slow down, he's just talking really creepy stuff about a Rapidash. And now we can go, well, we can't, we have to go back up to Cerulean City, we can go into the bike shop. I didn't show you it, but to get a bike before it would cost like a million Poké Dollars. Down here. Mail. Alright, uh, good for you guys. Run around. Now I'm gonna pop in here, and I'm gonna buy repels and potions and antidotes and whatnot, anything I see fit, I will be right back. And we're back. Now, since I had so much money, which I have not so much money anymore, I was able to get 99 of like just about everything except repels and one ice seal. Apparently I had repels already. I don't think I bought 17 just now. If I didn't, then I'm stupid because I did look into my inventory once earlier. But we're coming up on like 20 minutes, so... Um... Instead of... Going on the SSN, for now, what we're gonna do... Is throw on our rappel... And go up through here. The Diglett's Cave. Obviously, since it's called the Diglett's Cave, the only things you can catch in here are Diglett's and, on rare occasions, pretty strong Dug Trios. In fact, I'm pretty sure Repels only will repel. Yep, watch, this might be a Dug Trio. Oh, no, it's just a Diglett. Weird. Well, if you're looking for another ground type to help off with, uh, with the gym in the area. Oh, I might be able to catch it, actually. Diglets are right here. However... Sometimes they don't want to get, they don't want to get caught. Not this time, though. A little helpful hint, there's ground types over here. Dug trios are usually around level 29 to. Th I want to say 29 to 32. Yeah, whatever. This is with a repel on. In fact, unfortunately, I don't think we can run away. Oh, so I think some of them have this ability where they don't like run away. I don't like that repel is really doing anything. Anywho, this is kind of why I bought the repels. Actually, I think it's based on the Pokemon you have first. As you can see, cut. We're right by Pewter City, as a matter of fact. Right up there. And in fact, after we get cut and the ability to use it, 
I will be coming. So oh, do I need cut to get what I want came for? Nope. Oh yes I do. Jeez, I just came out here for no reason. Anywho. I'm actually gonna call it there. When we come back in the next episode next episode, I'll be back in uh what was it, Vermilion? Vermilion Town or City, whatever it was. And instead of doing the SSN, we're gonna go through the uh the area of past the cave I just entered. I will see you in the next one.